President Yoon Sung Yeol of the Republic of Korea is now entering the hall. Please welcome His Excellency with a big round of applause. 네, 지금 대통령님께서 입장하고 계십니다. 바쁜 일정에도 함께 해주신 대통령님을 모두 큰 박수로 맞아주시기 바랍니다. Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. 모두 자리에 착석 부탁드리겠습니다. Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now begin the opening session. 내외 귀빈 여러분, 개회 세션을 시작하겠습니다. First and foremost, His Excellency, President Yoon Sung Yeol of the Republic of Korea, will deliver his congratulatory address. Please welcome him with a warm round of applause. 먼저 대통령님께서 축사를 하시겠습니다. 큰 박수로 환영해 주시기 바랍니다. President Asakawa of the Asian Development Bank, delegates from ADV member countries and international organizations, distinguished guests, I deliver my sincere congratulations on the convening of the 56th ADV annual meeting. For the first time since the pandemic, the meeting is taking place fully in person. I am pleased to join you and extend my warmest welcome to all of you. This place, Incheon and Seoul, were connected by the Gyeongin Expressway, constructed in 1968 with the support of ADB loans as Korea's first expressway. This provided a stepping stone for Songdo Incheon to grow into an international city, which, as the venue of this annual meeting, carries even greater significance in my view, ladies and gentlemen. The pandemic has pushed the global economy into tremendous hardship and rapid changes. Geopolitical tensions, the war in Ukraine, and resurgence of protectionism have resulted in fragmented global supply chains that are posing fresh challenges. Digital transformation is widening digital gap among countries, regions, and classes, closing such gap and taking climate action for carbon neutrality by 2050 represent novel challenges that we must tackle together. These challenges are beyond any single nation and demand strong solidarity and partnership among nations. Asia is home to countries with abundant mineral resources, outstanding production and manufacturing capacities, cutting-edge technologies and excellent human resources. As such, regional countries, by working together, will be able to counter these challenges effectively, in my view. I expect ADB members to play a central part in creating a new model of solidarity and partnership among nations. The Republic of Korea, together with ADB, will become an active participant and facilitator of such endeavors. In November last year, at the ASEAN Korea Summit, I unveiled Korea's strategy for a free, peaceful, and prosperous in the Pacific region. The Korean government, as presented in this strategy, will work under the three principles of cooperation, inclusiveness, trust, and reciprocity, and serve as an active contributor to economic development collaboration in the Indo-Pacific. As a key partner with world-leading production technologies and manufacturing capacity in semiconductors, rechargeable batteries, bio, and other emerging industries, Korea is eager to participate in building collaborative supply chains with Asian countries. 
To promote shared prosperity of regional members, Korea is determined to share its growth experiences and pursue diplomacy of proactive contributions in the fields of climate change and digital divide, among others. On the occasion of this meeting, the Korean government, in partnership with ADB, is establishing a climate technology hub. Governments and businesses alike will share technologies, knowledge, and networks so that public and private sectors together can address challenges through this platform. Joining hands with ADB members, Korea stands ready to move beyond the Indo-Pacific and walk the path of solidarity towards shared global prosperity. I hope that this meeting will serve as an opportunity for the members to take their partnership to another height. Thank you. for your gracious remarks. Ladies and gentlemen, please give him another big round of applause. Thank you, Your Excellency, for your gracious remarks. Please give him a His round Excellency, of applause. His Excellency, President Yoon sung yeol will now leave the hall to his official schedules. Please join me in thanking our President for his presence with another big round of applause. 네, 대통령님께서는 공무원 인해 먼저 이석하실 예정입니다. 큰 박수로 환송해 주시기 바랍니다. 네, 여러분 대통령님께서는 공무로 인해서 먼저 이석하실 예정입니다. 다시 한번 큰 박수로 환송해 주시기 바랍니다. 네, 지금부터는 영어로만 진행될 예정입니다. 장례에 계신 분들께서는 한국어 통역이 필요하실 경우 리시버를 착용해 주시면 감사하겠습니다. And now, from now on, ladies and gentlemen, we will proceed in English only. For those who require interpretation, please use your receivers. Thank Your Excellency once again for gracing us with his presence. 다시 한번 참석해 주신 대통령님께 깊은 감사 인사 드리겠습니다. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now have a few minutes before our Deputy Prime Minister returns. I believe that it is even more meaningful for Korea to be hosting the ADB annual meeting as it is not just the first time, but it is our third experience. First was back in 1970 in Seoul, and second it was in 2004 on Jeju Island, and this time once again in Incheon. And what an honor it is to be bringing back the ADB annual meeting to the Republic of Korea once again. The 56th ADB annual meeting is being held, as we mentioned, face-to-face -face in three years, and I believe that that makes it even more significant after uh, the third time around here in the Republic of Korea. It's bringing together vested interests to advance our common goals, and this will be the first step in the rebound for Asia. And throughout the week, we will bring together various stakeholders, such as financial ministers of ADB members and governors of central banks, as well as CSOs, to discuss our future, to make a leap forward. We hope that you will join us throughout this week and the next few days, uh, on-site or online, ladies and gentlemen, and I hope that you will enjoy uh, the journey together. And now following suit, the Chair of the Board of Governors and Deputy Prime Minister of the Republic of Korea, Mr. Chu Gyeong-ho, will do us the honors of the opening address. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome him with a warm round of applause. Good 
morning, everyone. <clears throat> President Asakawa, fellow governors, distinguished guests, it's great honor to hold the 56th annual meeting of the Asian Development Bank in Incheon, Korea. Initially, Korea was planning to host the annual meeting in 2020, but the pandemic brought us together here today, three years later. I hope we have a meaningful time drawing up ways to recover, reconnect, and reform in order to bring about a rebounding Asia. This is the third annual meeting being held in Korea. Korea first hosted the annual meeting in 1970s as a recipient country, then in 2004 as a donor country. Ever since Korea joined ADB with one of the founding members, Korea has forced a close partnership with ADB from the very beginning of Korea's economic development in the 1960s. Here, in this very place, the Gyeongin Expressway, Korea's first expressway connecting Seoul and Incheon, was built with the help of the ADB loans in 1968. And thanks to support from ADB, and the international community, Korea was able to achieve remarkable growth, graduate from the recipient country status in 1988, and transition into a donor country. In an effort to share Korea's unique development experience and to close the digital gap in DMCs, Korea has been collaborating with ADB through a trust fund and co-financing. Going forward, Korea will continue to support ADB operations financially and intellectually based on our experience and know-how. Changes in the global economic landscape during the pandemic have assigned a new role for ADB. Along with a traditional role in reducing poverty and building infrastructure, ADB is being asked to become a global public good. This new role includes providing solutions to the pandemic, climate change, and low growth, which no single country can tackle alone. ADB transforming itself to meet such a new expectation of the international community. ADB has come up with a strategy 2030 that put emphasis on tackling climate change and the knowledge provider. Furthermore, in order to respond to the increase in demand for development financing, ADB is uh, taking stock of capital adequacy and ways to mobilize resources. Korea supports and commands ADB's efforts. Korea is going to participate in IFCAP, an innovative climate finance instrument, which will be launched during this annual meeting. And Korea is going to jointly establish a climate technology hub in Korea with the ADB, the so-called K-Hub. This thing is just from home and abroad. The pandemic left a deep scar in the world, developed and developing country alike. Until now, we were able to overcome the waves of the pandemic by joining forces. Through strong, strong global health solidarity, we are now becoming free from the constraints of the pandemic. Yet, 
volatility and uncertainty still exist in the global economy. Amid increasing economic fragmentation and continuing geopolitical instability, there are growing concerns of economic contraction. On top of such issues, aggressive monetary tightening in leading countries to respond to inflation has been increasing financial market volatility. We need to recover by not just overcoming the pandemic, but also global economic uncertainty and the low growth worldwide. The key to a rebounding Asia lies in sharing universal values of freedom, openness, and solidarity, along with close cooperation among countries. We need to address economic and geopolitical fragmentation and highlight the rules of fair trade once again. When it comes to reshaping the global supply chain, digitalization, health, and climate cooperation, we need to create a robust multi-layer structure for cooperation. This includes MDBs, consultation channels among countries, and the high-level dialogue. Whether it be a pandemic or any unexpected risk factor, we will be able to promptly respond to it if we have a trust with one another. Korea look forward to ADB's role as a platform for international cooperation to restore global connectivity. For Asia to rebound, we have to roll up our sleeves. It's because we all need to reform in order to address global challenges. Sectors in need of reform may vary from country to country. Since the start of Korea's new administration a year ago, Korea has been supporting fundamental structural reform in order to build a sustainable society. As for Korea, pension reform reflecting sustainability as well as labor and education reform enhancing productivity are difficult, but what we must do. There are also common challenges we need to resolve together. To fight climate change, we need to substantially change our conventional way of production and consumption. Likewise, we need to pursue new approaches when responding to rapid digitalization, aging population, and normalizing increased government expenditure. I hope ADB members collaborate and jointly respond to such task for reform. Korea will gladly take part in efforts to find solution. Distinguished guests, the pandemic left sadness in our lives, but at the same time, it taught us an important lesson. This is, no matter how strong a country is, no matter how competent a group is, one cannot overcome enormous challenges on its own. Delegates from ADB members are gathered here today in Incheon, Korea to navigate unprecedented challenges and to usher in a free, peaceful, and prosperous era in Asia and the Pacific. During this special four-day annual meeting in Incheon, let us join hands to gather wisdom on how we should bring about a rebounding Asia as well as world peace and prosperity. Thank you very much. Thank you, Honorable Deputy Prime Minister Chu Gyeong-ho for your kind words as well as your leadership. 
And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to invite Honorable ADB President Masatsugu Asakawa, who will deliver his appreciation address. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome him with a big hand. My dear friends, greetings and welcome to the 56th uh, annual meeting of the Asian Development Bank. I am so thrilled that we can gather in person here in Incheon. I want to thank you, our host, the Republic of Korea, for making these meetings possible. Just three years ago, in 2020, the Republic of Korea uh, also chaired our annual meeting. In those early months of pandemic, uh, we held only an abbreviated session. It was the very first of three annual meetings held online or in hybrid form. We have come so far since then. We have an exciting schedule for our meeting uh, uh, this year. I look forward to productive discussions and lively cultural events. I'm honored by the presence of President Yoon at our opening session. Like some of you, I recently learned about President Yoon's talents as a singer. I'm sure the musical performances later today uh, will enjoy it, uh, will be just as impressive. I am also grateful to ADB Governor and Chair of the Board of Governors Akion Ho Chu and Incho Mayor Yushun Bok for all the spreaded arrangement. Thank you so much. Let me also recognize how far the Republic of, Republic of Korea has come as, a, as an ADB member. Korea is a founding member of ADB and it has made a remarkable transition from a borrowing member to a donor country. I remember visiting Seoul in 1985 uh, for the World Bank IMF annual meetings, where there was much discussion of the country's economic progress. We call it the miracle of the Han River. I am proud of ADB's contributions over more than half a century to Korea's transformation into a global economic powerhouse. Like Korea's journey, ADB is fully committed to supporting the journeys of all our developing members. As we move forward together, we need to confront the big challenges of our times. To do this, we should have a clear understanding of what needs to be done to rebound and recover. This includes the need to adapt and evolve so that we can continue to serve our region effectively. My friends, I want to focus on the need for ADB and other multilateral development banks to evolve. You may have heard this referred to as MDB evolution agenda one of these days. Fortunately, I find ADB in a very strong starting place. For decades, we have been a steadfast partner on poverty reduction and regional development. We have been actively promoting resilience and sustainability through our strategy 2030 and commitment to the sustainable de development goals. And our public and private sector operations are already strongly integrated under a single roof called 1ADB. At the same time, we face enormous challenges. The scale and urgency of these challenges cannot be met with business as usual. We know, for example, that climate events are causing destruction on a scale never, been, never seen before. Debt 
and other crises are limiting the ability of government to meet the needs of their people. And millions of people are at risk of falling back, falling back into poverty and losing out on the opportunities of growing economies. So what do we need to do to meet these challenges? Let me offer three areas for consideration. First, we do need to recognize that development is no longer possible without effective climate action. Green and resilient economies offer the only path to strong and lasting growth. Supporting this is fully compatible with the long-term development agendas that we have been pursuing with our developing member countries. So let's make every effort, every effort to help economies transition swiftly and justly to a net zero future. Let's also ensure that people, including women and their communities, can adapt to climate change. I am so proud to highlight ADB's work uh, with the government of Korea to establish a climate technology hub right here in Korea, as President Yoon mentioned, to unlock new levels of climate finance through an innovative platform that we will launch this week. Second, we need to be leaders in investing in global public goods. In addition to the environment, they are key building blocks for development. The pandemic showed us how public health crises require coordinated responses, as well as access for poor and vulnerable groups. We must build resilience across borders, and we must be ready to provide swift and effective support to meet future crises. And third, we must be a key player in the effort to mobilize the levels of financing new, now required for development from billions to trillions. The traditional model of lending and grant making will not be enough. We need to answer the call for MDB to do more. To maximize our financing capacity through game-changing new mechanisms, to leverage the enormous investment potential of the private sector and philanthropies, and to maintain our place as a stable, reliable financial institution. My friends, let's place these needs at the top of our minds at our meetings this week. Let us also remember the many faces of those whom we serve. Our work must always provide for good livelihood and resilient communities, ensure opportunities, for example, for women and girls to participate in high-quality green jobs, equip developing member countries to sustain growth and generate resources domestically, and support transitions that are just and equitable. Let me close by emphasizing again that ADB's evolution is vital for the future of the development. So, I urge you to take up this important topic at our, our meetings uh, this week. With our continued work together, I am quite certain we, that we will be achieve a proper, pro, 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 prosperous, inclusive, resilient, and sustainable Asia and Pacific. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you, Honorable ADB President Masatsugu Asakawa, for your wise words and your comments. Thank you very much. And now, ladies and gentlemen, next we have the opening celebratory performance imbuing the theme of the annual meeting. It's a performance reflecting our wishes of overcoming crises and challenges, opening a new beginning of cooperation and solidarity. Of course, to venture into a new future together. 
So in line with the 56th ADB annual meeting being held here in Incheon, ladies and gentlemen, please enjoy and welcome the performers with a big round of applause.
Excellencies, distinguished guests, did you enjoy the opening performance? Thank you. I was going to ask for another round of applause, but thank you for doing it naturally. Thank you very much. Thank you. The cultural performance was prepared so as to wish for a recovery of face-to-face -face gatherings a recovery of hope, as well as a leap forward together into the future. We hope that it was well reflected in the performance. Well, with that, ladies and gentlemen, this brings to a close the opening session of the 56th ADB Annual Meeting. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for our guests who will be attending the Governor's Luncheon hosted by the Government of the Republic of Korea, Please stay in your seats so that our staff will be able to guide you to the premier ballroom C. 
Um, for your reference, the Premier Ballroom C is on your right-hand side after you exit the hall. And for our attendees, uh, from 12.30, the lunch boxes will be provided from the networking hub located at Exhibition Hall 1. That's Exhibition Hall 1. So please visit the Exhibition Hall 1 to pick up your lunch boxes. And now for your safety, we will be exiting this hall, starting from the last row in an orderly fashion. So please exit the last row onwards in an orderly fashion. Thank you very much once again, ladies and gentlemen, for your attendance and have a wonderful rest of the day. Thank you very much.